How pathetic can some people be? They're weird out in L.A., man. I read a thing in the paper. They said they were going to try to outlaw. That's piss me off. They're going to try to outlaw the big screen, real life handgun shooting video games because they say that that's what's wrong with the youth of America today. They learn how to accurately shoot guns with video games. It's not a parenting problem. <laughs> oh, no. It's a video problem. They figured it out. Congratulations. <laughs> Then they piss you off when they have a genuine problem. You try to tack a solution to it that has nothing to do with the problem. It's a parenting problem, you know. I got a great idea. Don't outlaw those machines. Give them to the state troopers of California because they're some of the worst shots I've ever seen in my life. I saw a shootout once live on TV that went on for so long, eventually the criminal got frustrated and just shot himself. <laughs> Yeah. And the cops are on TV whining about it, too. They're like, he's got on body armor. He's got on body armor. I'm watching it live on CNN going, I can see his head. <laughs> Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOC. Uh, you ever heard the term? Uh, I really shot myself in the foot on that one. Yeah. This actually happened. Okay. It's in Detroit. Oh, my God. 50-year-old man saw a uh, cockroach running across the room. And he took his shoe off. Aren't we glad we don't have those here? I know. I mean, maybe we do. I've never seen one in person. He took his shoe off to throw it at the cockroach. Now, this guy is already in a wheelchair. Now, he'll continue wow. to be in a wheelchair. So he had to bend down. So he's sitting there in his wheelchair, off. take his shoe off, throw it at the thing. Well, he also keeps... Now, see, you just bent your leg up. He can't do that because he's in a wheelchair. Well, maybe he can, maybe he so, can't. We don't so know the, he had why to, he he's had to, in a wheelchair. I mean, that's a lot of work to get to your shoe. Maybe he can't. If you're in a wheelchair. Can't. Well, if you could bend your legs, couldn't you stand? Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, it's I'm a lot of work. I'm guessing because of what happened, he's pretty quick to get to his shoe because okay. he keeps a gun in his shoe. Oh, like in his ankle? But he forgot that the gun was in the shoe oh. on his ankle, so he picked it up, took it. The revolver went with the shoe to the corner of the room oh, no. where the cockroach was. Oh, then, no. then discharged. Yeah, of came course. back, fired, hit him in the uh, in the in, uh, in the foot, and he had to go to the hospital. Well, thank God it didn't kill him. Right. It, it, luckily, it hit him in the foot, and not somewhere else, because that could have gone anywhere. His condition is unknown as of right now. Um, but uh, yeah, we don't even know his name. This is stuff. Why not just grab the gun and shoot the damn thing? You got the gun right there. Maybe I mean, you why the not? gun was in there. You get a little comfortable. I mean, you ever forget your wallets in your back pocket? Or no, you, I never carry my wallet in my back pocket. You know. But I mean, I forget things in my pockets all the time. They go through the wash. I'm like, ah, damn it! I really needed that card. Yeah, that yeah. happens. Yeah, you forget that things are where they always are. Like I if love you the always people have that, stuff in your pocket. Then you forget that you left them in there. My wife, you know, to kill a spider. She uh, she used to. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna you know, so I don't have to deal with this argument tonight. She doesn't. Uh, oh, she's actually out of town. But she used to take a uh, glass cleaner or a, a 409 or anything she could find to spray on the spider mm-hmm. and then kill. I'm like, just grab a paper towel or toilet paper. I like the toilet paper. It goes right in the toilet. Everybody thinks he's that, gone. Everybody thinks that the spider's going to bite him, though. So I grab it with the toilet paper and I flush it because then I don't think that, you know, if you put it in the garbage, you're open one up and then they come running at you. Yeah. Yeah, you got to flush that thing so it's gone. It's out of your house. You put it in that garbage can, it could be crawling out later. The spiders don't bother you. me. They don't bother me. I kill them with my finger, with my bare finger. Like, I'll just go up to them and I'll go, push. Because if you give... What about where you live now? There's tarantulas Yeah, there. there are big there are big spiders up there. And um, Have you I, seen a tarantula I'm a yet? little bit more reluctant to kill a spider with my fingers living in Templeton. But... You got the brown l- l- yeah, l- like there was recluse, a big one, whatever you There say? was a big one running along the side of the house the other day. What, a brown l- 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 recluse? Recluse. Recluse, did um, I say it? Yeah, and I and I I saw it, and it was right where the kids were playing, and I got to try to kill it without making a big deal about it. And I think I went in there with uh, there was a broom sitting there or something, and I just went in there with the bristles of the broom and got it because he was in the corner yeah. of the house where yeah. you know the sidewalk meets. Got to break house. some legs so you can then step on him. Yeah, and then I yeah. made sure I finished him off with my foot. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's uh, I did, but besides that, any spider that's a that, if the spider is that big, I don't even care if it's like a, a it Ugh. might be poisonous. If it's that big, maybe that big, I will kill it with my, it will, <laughs> I will kill it with my fingers. You know what happened to me? My dog, I've told you, I talk about him all the time. 
because he's a handful. But he likes to go outside, and if leaves blow across, anything moving across the the, the shadows, he's chasing them. Yeah. But if it's a leaf, he'll eat it. He'll he'll eat it. So he's running, and I see it. It's one of those. They're not potato bugs, but that's what people call them. The alien oh, looking uh, things. Jerusalem cr- cricket. And yeah. he gets it in his mouth, and he's running around with oh, his mouth. God. And now I'm like, George, drop it, drop it, drop it. And he's he's not eating it. He's almost showing it off to me, like, look what I got. And he's like, and the heads out, and the little arms are going, going. Oh my god, so gross. And uh, I'm like, cookie, cookie. And so he comes running in the house, and I have to grab it out of his mouth with oh, my hands. Those are the most hideous things ever. I remember when I moved to Royal Grande, oh. I saw one where I was like, I was like digging some stuff up in the backyard. It looks like an alien. To. Like, literally, it's, a, it's an alien life form. And I was like, I, I, I pick up a brick, and there's one that's like crawling around underneath the brick. I didn't know what to do. I just threw the brick back at it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're harmless. I was like, no. They I guess are. I guess they, super they stay underground for years, and mm-hmm. then at some point, the, it could be they five years. Big enough years. to come up to the surface. They, yeah, they come up, and it's kind of a. I, I'd rather never see one they again. They look like but, they'd rather not be on the surface because yeah. they're oh, lethargic. Like, God, and if my wife saw that, she would. Yeah, it. she probably would have ran him to the ER. <laughs> yeah, my wife. <laughs> she would be like, stand. "Oh my God, it might have been him." I'm like, "Hey, he's fine." Couldn't stand living in, in a Royal Grande because of those damn things. I, and so wait, we're going to give dumbass of the day to a handicapped guy that threw a shoe at a cockroach and his gun went with it and yeah. shot him? Mm-hmm. He's handicapped and he got shot. Yes. Because you don't, like, you like was the shoe going to take care of the cockroach? Like, are you Randy Johnson? Are you going to be able to get enough velocity on your shoe, even your but wheelchair ass? He's not, Do you think that's going to work? Can't, he can't move as quick as other people can because he's in a wheelchair. And what if that thing was running behind the fridge and he can't get the fridge out because he's in a wheelchair? So do, he was trying to get it fast. you got to do the Elsa. Let it go, man. Your chances of killing that bad thing. bad for the guy. Your chances of... of, of I would have shot him. Killing that thing are, are, are very slim. Even with a gun, it would be still very slim. I'm in a wheelchair. I'm not keeping the gun on my leg, by the way. I'm no, keeping it up higher. No, like, keeping get, a get shoulder a, strap. Get a holster for the, rear, for the wheelchair. Be like the Wild West, man. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> oh, bad for this guy. But you go ahead. You give it to him. We'll uh, agree to disagree. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, dude. Um, <laughs> I, we don't even know your name, but this isn't even important at this point. You're Jeff and Jeremy's. Dumbass of the day. It's Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ.